Good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. I'm going to start out today's show by talking with the new president over at the Florida Keys Community College. That's Dr. Jonathan Guevara. Now, to give you a little background on him, he was born in Trinidad and Tobago, but he grew up and got a lot of his education here in the States. He has a very impressive track record. He has been in numerous leadership and faculty positions in almost a dozen different colleges. Now, he is the Florida Keys Community College's sixth president, and his inauguration will actually be held this weekend. This three-day celebration will be the start of a new chapter at the college. This is a new and exciting chapter that everyone is ready to embark on. Dr. Guevara, thank you for being here with me this morning. Thank you. I'm, I'm delighted. This is great to be on your show, my first time. Yeah, your first time, so I'm going to have you back many more times. So Absolutely. I'm mean, just across the street. <laughs> All right. Now, I understand that you came here from Washington, D.C., correct? Washington, D.C. was my last stop. I was in Washington, D.C., starting the first community college in the nation's capital. Wow. So how many years were did you spend in Washington, D.C., Dr. Kovar? Um I was in the Washington, D.C. area probably for about seven, seven and a half years, because mm -hmm. prior to that I was at Northern Virginia Community College. Mm -hmm. um, I ran the Alexandria campus, and it was as a result of my involvement with that work there and uh, following the politics in D.C., I was asked to come to D.C. to help start the community college there. Now, was it a hard decision to leave Washington, D.C. and come here to the Keys? It was, it, you know, it's always a tough decision to leave wherever you are. Um, the decision to leave Washington, D.C. was, um, on one level, was very personal. Um, I, I still have a lot of family back in the Caribbean. Uh, my mother used to live with me, and as, you know, a lot of us have elderly parents and they're getting down in age. So one of the decisions that we had to make is, um, how close can we get to the Caribbean without necessarily being there and or being in a place where I can say, Mom, listen, it doesn't get cold here. Mm -hmm. Or even <laughs> if it does, it's not more than a couple of days for the year. Right. So if you're here, you won't have to worry about being frozen all the time. Mm -hmm. So a part of that was very, very um, personal. The other piece of that was um, a couple of years ago now, June, we had gone down to visit with my family and on the day we arrived my father passed away and uh, unfortunately we did not get a chance to speak to him before um, that untimely event and uh, so you know those kind those things wear on you and and you think about it as you think about family um, but you know Florida Keys Community College is the kind of place that I really love it's a small college mm -hmm. um, as much as we try today to get economies of scale by having larger and larger schools, I think one of the things that we're losing is that personal connection that we have to students. And you hear so many young people, and, and you know, and always, not always young people, you hear so many students talk about, you know, I want to be able to reach my professor. I, I have conversations almost daily with our students in, in, our, in our quad area outside my office, you know, and they feel comfortable stopping by will chat about what's going on in their classes, what's going on at home, and a host of other things. Mm -hmm. I think that this is it's so valuable that you're able to speak with the students. And it, it is a small college, but yet it can be a very personal experience being able to communicate with all your professors and even the president. Absolutely, so. and, and that's what I like mm -hmm. about the, the environment that we have. And it's, it's one of the things that our students talk about. Mm -hmm. um, so for everything that I, talk about in the future of the college, one of the biggest challenges is to make sure that it stays a small college. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to be talking more about a celebration this weekend where you'll be connecting with the community. We're going to take a quick break right now, but we'll be right back after these messages, so stay with us. <laughs> 